I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the earth. Just prior to this speech on May 5, 1961, U.S. astronaut Alan Shepard boarded America's first manned spacecraft, named Mercury 3, launched atop a Redstone rocket. He risked his life, but successfully achieved a suborbital flight to become the first American in space. Mars, the mysterious red planet, has inspired man's imagination over the centuries and has sparked intense scientific and public interest. At one time, it was thought to be inhabited by strange creatures, large cities, and ancient canals. Our intense curiosity about the planet prompted several nations led by the United States to launch sophisticated spacecraft to Mars in search of answers. That ever-expanding motion continues today, placing more and more distance between galaxies. So as our understanding of the universe grows, so does our respect for its eternal mysteries. In astronomy, the word nebula is used to refer to any astronomical object in the sky other than planets and comets. Today, the name is reserved for giant clouds of dust and gas. The American Space Shuttle was a very important step in furnishing the world with a method of lifting and also assembling large payloads in space and at the same time supplying an affordable, reusable means of space transportation for a larger number of space travelers. One, we have booster ignition and lift its off official of name is Space Transportation place, System, or STS. The space station's backbone. On April 12, 1981, the United States launched Flight STS-1, the, the first reusable spacecraft, away. the Space Shuttle Columbia. In this dramatic time-lapse sequence, you are actually witnessing the collision of two giant galaxy clusters composed of thousands of galaxies and trillions of stars. This results in one of the most powerful events ever seen by man. It was recorded recently by the European Space Agency assisted by NASA. At the edge of our solar system lie two regions of space, the Oort Cloud and the Kuiper Belt from which scientists believe that most comets originate. It's estimated that trillions of icy bodies, large and small, exist within these systems.